Hello everyone, this is Penny from Wacko Witch Astrology here to explain what a composite chart is. Now if you don't already know what a natal chart is, then go in the description below and find my video on what the natal chart is so you can first understand that. But the composite chart in astrology is not just about me, it's not just about the individual, it's about how two people combine in their relationship with each other. So it's that whole when two become one thing, the entity of a relationship, if two charts, two people came together and had a baby, that would be the composite chart. But this baby isn't going to have like mom's nose, dad's ears, grandma's eyes not going to be like that. It's going to be more middle of the road. So in being a combination of the two people, it's kind of like what's in between us? What is a balance between us? And what is kind of the result of us interacting? So reading a composite chart is similar to reading a natal chart, but it's also different in a lot of ways. Um, for example, things like the moon sign are usually considered to be very personal. So when we stop it from just being personal and about how I'm feeling internally and we turn that into a relationship, the moon sign instead will start to represent empathy and how the two parties show compassion for one another. So we still have all of our regular planets in the composite chart and it's still going to look like the natal chart because it is combined into 12 separate houses and it has each of the 12 signs on the outside of it. And then we have all of the planets and any asteroids that you choose to display. It's actually kind of hard to see my board. I'm sorry about that. Um, but like I said, the moon sign in a composite chart is going to show how you have empathy for one another. You know, how do you relate to each other emotionally? How do you express your emotions to one another? And then how do you respond to one another? Like, for example, some people don't even have to actually speak about their emotions and their friend or their partner will already know how they're feeling. So that would be a very empathic relationship. But then we have relationships that are less empathic where the two parties might even seem somewhat callous towards one another and out of touch with how they are feeling. So the sun sign in the composite chart is going to show uh, not just the personality, but it's going to show more so the expression of the relationship. And it's going to tell you about hobbies and activities that you and your partner participate in, something that's really your focus. So for example, if um, your composite son was in Leo, that would mean that you guys like to do very Leo things together. You like to be dramatic, you like to be creative, um, you like to go out almost like you're on a stage performing for other people, and it's going to have all of that nice Leo energy. If your composite sun sign is in Gemini, then the relationship's going to be more about the exchange of information and speaking to each other, um, sharing experiences, sharing knowledge, sharing wisdom, whatever you guys accumulate throughout the day. Uh, but if you want to know how talkative you are and how you actually communicate with one another, then you're also going to have to look at where Mercury is in the composite chart. Uh, if you want to know about what in the relationship is going to be very stable, but at the same time potentially stagnant, then you're going to look at where Saturn is in the composite chart. If you want to know about um, kind of the blessings and the gifts and specifically how your partner inspires you, then you are going to be looking at Jupiter. If you want to see if there's any anger problems, any aggression, any jealousy in the relationship, you're going to look at the planet Mars. Uh, for things like affection and how the two parties actually feel about each other and express their feelings for one another, then you're going to look at Venus. 
Uh, a composite Venus in Cancer, for example, can be very almost defensive, like very cautious about expressing the feelings, uh, but still typically kind and compassionate to one another. So you're going to see all the houses, um, you're going to see all the planets, and then you also have your rising sign, which will be right here in the chart. And that one is going to tell you um, more about the, the personality and the behaviors of the relationship. Like, what are we not just participating in together? What are we not just focusing on? But what are we actually doing in our day-to-day -day life? Like, do we usually stay in? Do we go out? Um, do we like to snuggle and cuddle? Or do we prefer uh, to go out to a bar together? So it's going to tell you all kinds of stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free uh, to leave them below, but even better, you could join my astrology group on Facebook so we can talk about things and learn new information there. I have a lot of really intelligent people who uh, follow my page and follow my YouTube channel. And yeah, I also have a website and a Patreon, so if you wanna help me get more videos up, you can go ahead and click on my Patreon to uh, help me do that. All right, thanks, bye.